hello friends we are studying dc analysis of mosfet and particularly e mosfet today's topic is sub threshold conduction we have to understand the concept of sub threshold conduction if you see the title the topic sub threshold conduction okay so it is related to threshold voltage so before understanding this you should know what is mean by threshold voltage so i am going to tell this again what is mean by vt it is the voltage on gate at which the transistor turns on or simply in terms of equation we can say when vgs is greater than or equal to vt the transistor turns on the transistor t turns on and when vgs is less than vt the transistor remains off okay who decides this the manufacturer of transistor a particular company which is manufacturing transistors decide the threshold voltage and it is constant for n channel e mosfet it is positive value and for p channel e mosfet it is negative one thing is worth to remember is the transistor should be off when voltage on gate is less than vt in case of n channel mosfet so it is n channel e mosfet we have here channel when we will be having channel when vgs is greater than vt when vgs is less than vt the channel is absent okay it is not induced at source is at ground and drain is connected to positive dc supply so this is the situation now in this situation when transistor is in saturation region we have drain current equation so when transistor transistor is in saturation region drain current we are writing dc drain current equation so it is id is equal to kn in bracket vgs minus vt square let us say equation 1 already we have this equation and this gives us the dependence of id on vgs let us take the square root of this equation taking square root of equation this equation will get square root of id is equal to square root of kn into already it is square so it will be out of square root so it is vgs minus vt okay and i have used lower case letter so it is vt now these gives us linear relation okay so id versus square root of id versus vgs plot will be linear let us plot it see so on one axis i am going to take square root of id and this axis is vgs in holes and it is square root of id which is in microamps or milliamps so zero now, according to this what should be id when vt say vt is here it can be anything one hole two hole three hole depends upon the n channel e mosfet transistor model as per this equation the drain current is zero when vgs is equal to vt at that time the drain current increases the channel is induced see this when vgs is greater than vt here it is i have written less than vt 
but when it is greater than Vt at that time channel is induced and the current flows from drain to source as electrons move from source to drain. Okay. This is the theory of working of N channel E MOSFET. Now this happens practically uh, ideally this is the ideal curve okay, and it is linear. So we can write here it is the ideal relation between square root of ID and VGS. But it does not happen experimentally. Okay. What happens when gate voltage is not at reach to equal to Vt? Before that, some small amount of current flows from drain to source. Okay. And we can show here this part. Okay. And this is what? This is experimental graph experimentally this happens before the threshold voltage a small amount of drain current exists there and this is called as sub threshold conduction ok. So why this is important? See this is not discrete transistor theory so, we are talking about the integrated circuits in integrated circuits on a single wafer on a single wafer billions of transistors are manufactured ok. So, billions of transistors are configured to make a circuit ok and altogether if this is the case sub threshold conduction definitely before turning on the device ok slightly device is an on condition ok. This is the DC condition of the device or it is called quiescent condition of the device. What is the meaning of this? It is going to dissipate the power, it is going to drain the battery. Therefore, sub threshold conduction is an important concept. So, it should be considered somewhere while designing the integrated circuits.